Want an edge for betting the Super Bowl? Click the link in the description to download VSIN's free betting guide. The stars of the Fade Five podcast, Brad Evans and Nathaniel Lundy. Look at these two. Wow. Good looking fellas together. My goodness. I don't know. We are to pull a Wayne's world. We're not worthy, fellas. How you no. doing? It's, this is a lot like crossing the streams in Ghostbusters. We're not usually in the same room together. As you guys know, Brad is in central Illinois. I am normally in the Mile High City. So this is weird to be this close to your aura. You don't smell good. I got to be honest. No, I don't smell good, but you look <laughs> wonderful. And if you want to cross other objects, I'm down with it. Whoa. Oh. Hey, we are in oh. Vegas. You know, you it guys, is true. You guys, you guys do. You gotta pay, I can't gotta pay I, extra I, for that, I, Cotton. I, I, I can only imagine uh, Brad... And uh, what the what the sights and sounds word tells me that Brad is leaving town tomorrow. That's probably a good yes. thing. That's that's probably that's probably. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. might, I might be in jail by the end of the night. The media the media parties tonight. So if he does go to jail, it's going to be well covered. Let's just put it that way. There it is. Uh, Nate Lundy, Brad Evans joining us. You can catch their podcast, the Fade Five podcast, wherever you get your podcast. Of course, you can catch. Brad Evans, sometimes with this gentleman right here, Jared Smith, on yeah. Live on the Line. They will be uh, on the air tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific, live from the sports book there uh, at Radio Row. All right, boys, let's start with the two quarterbacks. Purdy, Mahomes, prop angles. What do you got in pocket? What's jumping out to you from Mr. Mahomes, Mr. Purdy? Yeah, I'll give you one on each, actually, that I've already wagered on uh, at BetMGM. I took Brock Purdy over on rush yards, guys. With the line open at 11.5, I jumped immediately to 12.5. I got a light juice on that over as well at minus 105. I would play that number up to like uh, 17.5, 18.5. Male, maybe even 19.5 if you can get that at an attractive number. Uh, and you most certainly should. Uh, Purdy has been running like gangbusters here the last couple of weeks in the playoffs, over 40 yards yep. in the last round. And again, uh, the pocket pressure rate of Kansas City, he ramps it up. They were number two in the regular season in that category. So what does that mean? Collapsed pockets. What does that mean? Opportunistic runs. So, you know, tucking and running for Brock Purdy makes all the sense in the world. And I also sprinkle a little action, Lundy, because I got seduced <laughs> by the juice Shocking. on Mahomes. 300 or more pass yards, Ooh. and they all mark it. And I grab that at plus 210. Why? San Francisco secondary is rubbish. Rubbish. I think he picks them apart, start to finish in that game. A lot of that action going to, of course, Mr. Taylor Swift. Well, and I think you can also look at, you talk about Mahomes. Um, I think you can look at rush attempts because remember, we could be looking, if, if, if the game script goes the way Brad and I both think it will, which is that we think Kansas City is going to win the game. Yeah. You're talking about the potential of kneel downs. You're talking about oh, those rush yes. attempts hitting the over. Uh, and you're going to pay a little bit of juice on that one right now for Mahomes. But I do think in addition to what Brad was talking about with Purdy, Pay attention to Patrick's rush attempts because if it follows that kind of game script, you might be seeing a kneel down or two in the final minute, and bam, we cash the over. Cash, baby. Mm, love that, especially quarterback rushing props, Brad. I feel like we talk about this every single time. There's All a high-profile game. I mean, it is just a go-to. But let's go to the skill position, guys, and we'll start with the Chiefs because I think outside of Rice and Kelsey – you can make an argument that there really isn't anything else there. It's a barren wasteland outside of those two guys in the passing game. In the rushing game, we expect Pacheco to be a big factor, especially considering the Niners' struggle uh, to stop the run. So based on those chief skill position players, is there one of those big three that you prefer to the other? Well, there's, there's two from a rushing standpoint, Jared, that I um, am already on. Let me give you a couple. First of all, uh, Isaiah Pacheco's rush attempts actually opened at 17 and a half. It climbed from there. Uh, I snagged it at 17 and a half. I think he's going to be pushing 20. I think he's going to get a lot of carries. And if you want to follow that game script right now at DraftKings, the team rushing total for Kansas City is set at 103 and a half. Yes. And you can take the over at plus odds. And I'm all about that one, Jared, because I think by the time you combine Pacheco and Mahomes, who you know in a big game is going to want to scramble, he's going to want to do something with his legs, he's going to want to show off. I think those two guys alone can wind up combining and maybe Pacheco by himself at the 103 and a half. So I love the fact that the team rushing total right now at DK 
plus odds if you want to play that over at 103 and a half. And I'll just piggyback on your point here. Uh, Travis Kelsey lead the game in receiving yards plus 275. Yeah, uh, yeah take my money. Yeah. And also Isaiah Pacheco to lead the game in rush yards plus 170. I grabbed all that action because I'm correlate, synergizing, and bringing it all together. <laughs> if I feel that Kansas City is going to win this sucker, and again, I got him on the money line, grabbed yep. him immediately with line open at plus 120. Uh, why not both of those guys have banner games when they're hoisting the hardware and uh, doing a lot of you know grinds openly because they're in celebration. <laughs> wow. Sin City, baby. <laughs> hey, I may grind on a brass pole later. It's completely legal here. Hey, Y'all so, understand, uh, you, you, you promoted the podcast. You promoted the Fave Five for us. Um, do you understand? This is, uh, this is a common occurrence between the two of us. Yes. It is. We get off the rails real quick. Oh, Working yeah. competition, it perhaps, is. in the mix for later, gentlemen? It is. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. And these, the two of these together, I, I'll just say the last Super Bowl that I went to in Miami – it was with Mr. Lundy, Mr. Uh, Mr. Evans, and Mr. Ryan Harris might have shown up too. Right. I mean, things <laughs> things got things got a little uh, things got a little late in Ooh, Miami. Yeah, a little spicy Boy, down there on South Beach. We had we had a good time. We had a good time. Needless. Tim, to, Tim had the reaction to Ryan Harris that I had uh, several years ago at the Super Bowl in New Orleans when I met Alyssa Milano. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm just I, I just want to correlate as long as we're doing that. I want you to be able to picture that I'm talking about a woman that I have had a crush on since like middle school, Tim Ryan Harris walked in oh, he gazed and it was those eyes. like, it was like lights were glowing. Wow. Um, like angels were candle. singing. And angels. I thought you loved me, Tim, but clearly yeah. you feel very you differently. Didn't, you didn't play offensive line at the greatest university no, in the I history did not. of the world. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> yeah. 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 just, just say it. I had a double take. I'm like, <laughs> That's Ryan Harris. Oh, yeah. And now we're buds. We're hanging out in El Paso together. He's coming oh, in, look at this guy's a big yeah. timer coming over in here. Studio in a couple days. All right, Nate Lundy and Brad Evans down there at Radio Row here in Las Vegas. Catch their podcast, the Fade Five Podcast. Follow Nate on Twitter at Nate Lundy and at Noisy Huevos for Mr. Evans. All right, a lot of overs, a lot of positivity. Don't want to be the Debbie Downer, <laughs> but is there any unders that intrigue you guys? from a prop perspective or, dare I say, a total perspective when it comes to this game. Yeah, Lundy already talked about the rushing yards for Kansas City, and you like the over there. Yeah. Uh, I'm opposite with San Francisco because that number was what, like 126 and yeah. a half or yeah, something like that? Yeah, 126, 127. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a whole lot of Chris McCaffrey. And again, I like uh, the over on Purdy rush yards, but that number is set so low. I grabbed 11 and a half, 12 and a half, even if it ran for 20. I, I just don't see CMC – uh, really flirting with 100 yards in this game because Kansas City has been a lockdown defense uh, over the last, uh, you know, several games, really a 10 game stretch, according to Rush EPA data. I think McCaffrey, yeah, he's going to get the volume, but I think he's going to do more damage as a receiver in this game than on the ground. I think at peak, it may be 85 yards. I don't think he's going to go for a single yard more, so I'll take that under. But uh, do I really have any unders on my 12-leg uh, card? Uh, hell no. I, I'm all, <laughs> all right, what about what about game just overall picks? Final score, MVP. We got about 90 seconds left, gentlemen. Please, the floor um, is yours. Guys, I, uh, I, I actually like the over. Um, I like Kansas City on the money line. I'm like Brad. I grabbed him very quickly after the AFC and NFC championships were done. Uh, he got it 120. I got it at, uh, at 115. Um, but I, I actually like the over. There's a couple other props that I like, Jared, as well. Both teams to score 20 points. I like that. Get right now. Uh, DraftKings has that one for you, I believe, at a minus 115. Check the juice on that one for yourself locally. And then there was a bet that I sprinkled in uh, just because it, it could easily happen, and we know that this Chiefs team will do it. Plus 215 right now at DraftKings for Kansas City to win from behind. Oh, I love that. To oh, be yeah. trailing at some love point. Love it. Which, guys. 3 could, nothing. Yeah, which could be 3 nothing yeah. right off the opening drive, and then Kansas City turns around and wins. That's a great way to play them on the money line, by the way, and be able to up that juice. Right now, plus 215 at DK. Just checked it before we went on the air. I think that's uh, actually good on both ways, oh, right? By the way. The Niners What's could that? be down three nothing and then can come back and win the game, right? Sure, yeah, sure. same sure. deal. If you if you want to uh, if you want to buy into that Kyle yeah. Shanahan and uh, trick, remember <laughs> three times coaches. <laughs> Three times coaches have had a rematch in the Super Bowl. This will be number four. And all three times in history, the coach that won the first time won the second time. I love that. That's great. Quickly, I like Kansas City Monday Night as well. I took Mahomes MVP in that race. And I also uh, Kansas City uh, to win within 7 to 12 points plus 550. Take my money! 
Go to VEASAN.com slash subscribe to become a VEASAN Pro subscriber today.